Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to share with you some experience and knowledge about grammar translation method, one of the methods in English mythology subject. So you know that my English speaking isn't good, but I so just ignore it and focus on the lessons and the theory of this subject is it okay. I just want to share with you the experience or the knowledge that I have learned at school uh, for you to have you feel easier to learn this subject and no more scared of this subject. Now first of all, let's go through together about grammar generalization method. Is it the basic method of learning a new language? Why is it the basic method? Because in in my mind, in my mind, I just think that it, like translate from English to Vietnamese is the almost common way that the teachers in Vietnam use to teach them the grammar of vocabulary. Uh, because they they don't have when when they don't have enough time. So, in grammar translation method, we need to know that. It also have the other name that classical or traditional method. Focus classical or traditional method. Phương pháp dạy cổ điển là phương pháp truyền thống là dịch từ tiếng Anh sang tiếng Việt và tiếng Việt sang tiếng Anh ngược lại. So, originally used to teach Latin, Latin and Greek classical language. Is the the origin and main purpose? Helps learners treat and appreciate foreign language. Literator. To remember is the foreign language. Literator. And also have learners improve speaking and writing in their native language. Yeah, it seems a little bit silly to while learning a foreign language. Have us improve our skill in native language. I mean our modern language. Yes, so just focus on this. Speaking and writing in our in the native language. Our modern language. And have learners become more intellectual. So when I was learning this subject, my teacher taught me that whenever you learn about the method, you need to be focused on seven seven core principles. The first one is the teacher's goal. Yes, teacher goals. Seventh is the roles of teachers and students. Third is teaching learning process. Fourth, teacher student interaction. Student student interaction. Five, language focus. Six, teachers respond to the student errors. Techniques. So, begin with the first teachers go. Why do or why the teacher need to use this method? The students are able to read literature, write and in the target language, students need to learn the grammar rules and vocabulary. Language learning provide students with good mental exercise. You know the, the theories and when being a student, we need to learn by heart on the theories, especially uh, English methodology theories. I guess it will be uh, helpful for you, not not only now but uh, for for more when you be older. Yes. Second, the role of the teachers and students. The teacher is the authority in the classroom. Thật ra thì cái phương pháp này thì là giáo viên nắm quyền kiểm soát hết trơn. Giáo viên hướng dẫn học sinh làm cho nên là cái phương pháp này là giáo viên là trọng tâm Thì cái uh, the role of teachers and students này thì rất là dễ mà ra thi luôn 
người ta ra thi bằng hình thức hỏi uh, câu hỏi ngắn bạn hãy nêu cái uh, role teacher and student của phương pháp này phương pháp kia phương pháp dm nè phương pháp gtm phương pháp clt là những cái này là mình bắt buộc mình phải học thuộc hết luôn so the in gtm gtm is stand for drama translation method in this The teacher is the center. The students do what teachers say. How about teaching and learning process? Students are taught to translate from one language to another. Students study grammar deductively. Remember this point. So when we finish learning about grammar translation method and direct method, we need to do a table to compare grammar translation method with direct method and this boy will help you to identify the difference between them and student memorize native language every violence for target language vocabulary items need to learn by heart teacher and student interaction teacher and student dominant But little students student interaction because the teacher do on the teaching so the student don't have chance to speaking or interact with the others. How about language focus? Vocabulary and grammar are emphasized. Remember in grammar translation method, both vocabulary and grammar are emphasized because in the other method They will emphasize the other treaters. Pronunciation we see little, little attention. Treating and writing are the primary skill to be developed. Treating and writing. Teacher respond to the student errors. Having student get the correct answer is very important. And finally, the techniques. Translation of literacy passage. Reading comprehension questions. Antonyms, synonyms, fill in the blanks. Memorization, you words in sentence conversation. Uh, don't be worried so much about the techniques. Because when um, if you just learn to pass this subject, you just learn that... Um, In the test, maybe the examiner will ask you like that. Uh, memorization is the technique of direct method, and you just write down the answer like two or four. Yeah, we don't need to explain much, or else they will give you um, an examination like that. Tell some techniques of direct method or grammar translation method. You need to remember the names. The names uh, do need to remember too many too many details of this technique. You focus on the the other teacher goals, roles of teacher and student teaching learning process. Uh, language focus. Uh, it is more important, I think. So anyway, thank you for. Uh, watching my video have a good day if you need some in some more information or the the five word of uh, of drama translation method just contact me i will leave my information follow down this this video thank you and have a good day